We are going to combine Deno and React and we're going to do this by creating a React application and serving it through our Deno application. Now if you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development so if you guys haven't already hit like and subscribe and we're just going to jump straight into it. We'll start with something simple and this will be to create our React app and to do this we're going to call npx and we're going to pass in create react app and then after this we'll name the app so in this case i'm just going to call it deno react this will create react and it'll start off the application so that we've got a baseline react application and using this we can connect up to our deno server what we're going to do is browse into this directory so i'm just going to open up vs code over here and browse into it once we've browsed into the directory, we'll be able to open up console here. And in here, we can start our application by simply running npm start. This will start React. And once we start it, we should be able to browse straight into our application. So there it is. And it looks like it's running just fine. This is just a small React app. And there's nothing very special here. We can even edit some of this stuff and it should hot reload automatically. But what we're gonna do is build this project and set up a deno server, which will present the files to our clients. So in order to do this, we're gonna run npm run build, and this will spit out a build of our React app. This will have a folder in here inside our React application. And this build folder will have an index.html, some CSS, some Java, JavaScript and we're going to serve this all up. Now to do this, we're going to create a new file here called server.js. And this is where we'll have our demo application. For our demo application, we want to serve up the files. And to be able to do this, we're going to need to use a library from Deno. My personal preference is usually libraries like Express or maybe Oak. And all of these are sort of available through Deno, but today we're gonna to take a look at a library called ABC and this will host our web server. So what we're gonna do is we're going to import application from the ABC library URL. And the library URL is just this one here on Deno land. We're going to const app a new application and this will be where we serve up the application and to serve it up we're just going to pass in a couple of simple commands so we're going to call app and we're going to provide a static method here and this static method what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a root directory which is just forward slash and the folder which in this case will be called build after that we might pass in a single file as well so in this case we might pass in build forward slash index.html and all of this will be referencing this build folder here we've created through react app finally we'll start the system and to start it we might just click uh, we just might put in the port here and the port might be something like 3080 so let's save that and run our deno application. So to be able to run this, we're going to pass in deno run. We'll allow dash net and allow dash read. So we can read files and write to the network. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the server.js file and we're going to hit enter on that. And we can test this out now. We can actually open up our web browser and instead of going to port 3000, we'll go to port 3080. So let's pass that in. When we do, we can see that our application has loaded up straight from our build folder and it's pulled in index.html as well as all the other files associated in here. So that's really cool. But doing this allows us to create an API layer on top of our React application. So what this means is we can pass in a get here and we can do forward slash API. And in here we'll pass in context and we'll pass in a return. And in this return, I'm going to do a JSON object of hello with a string of world in here. And while this is really simple and there's not much to this in general, what it means is that while we're running our Deno application serving our React app on this Deno application, we also are serving an API at the same time. And it's coming back here with a JSON object. This allows us to do a lot here. In terms of this API, we could connect it to a database and it can interact directly with our React application. We might take a look at that in future videos, but this is just a quick example of how Deno can both serve your React application as well as provide APIs in the background at the same time. 
This is just one example of how we can combine Deno and React, and there's lots of other ways to do it, such as doing server-side rendering, but we might take a look at those in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this one though. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.